So yes, this is true. I did have an experience where I almost got kicked out of RT school. This is a little embarrassing, as I said, and I don't even think my wife knows this story. I never told her. Um, I wanted to make this video for a while now, and I finally got to. So, how did I fail or get kicked out of RT school? Well, it all started with this device here. So if you don't know what this is, this is a PEP device or a positive expiratory pressure. And in a school, we had to do competencies, obviously, and we had three chances. And if we got it wrong on the third try, we were kicked out of the program or sent back a semester. So I forget exactly what I did the first time when I got this wrong. But then the second time, um, all the pieces were apart. So nothing was put together, and I had to put it together. And the mouthpiece goes on this end here with the, uh, the tubing. And when I put it together, I put it on the opposite end. And right away my instructor was just like, nope, you're done. So before I could even like try the device out, uh, he told me I was done and I was kind of pissed off. But I mean, I, <laughs> I learned from my mistakes. So then what I did was they told me, okay, um, we're going to give you two more days, and we're going to do this again, and if you mess up, sorry about your luck. So what I did was, I went home, I watched a bunch of different YouTube videos on pep therapy, and then I also read this whole little manual thing from front to back about four times. Um, <laughs> just because I didn't want to get anything wrong, and they were going to ask me a bunch of questions, just um, on the device alone, rather than, oh, can you put it together? Um, so they wanted me to do the resistance and all that other stuff. So I can't make another video talking about exactly why you use PEP um, or positive expiratory pressure. I can show you how to use this device and all the other good stuff. But the one lesson that came from this was the, the little things do matter. So when we did competencies, we had four or so things that we had to do at once. And I was like, ah, oh, PEP therapy, that's, that's easy, I got that. So I focused more on something else. Like I believe we were doing other uh, stuff with the airways and that was a little bit more important to me. So I figured out oh, I'll focus more on that. But once again, little things do matter in school, um, especially in the work environment. Um, you want to pay attention to detail and the little things that you don't think matter, they do. So that's my word of advice is pay attention to the little things. Well anyway, now you know the story about pep therapy and myself. So don't <laughs> slack just because you think it's easy. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.